Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So we've got some good news and some bad news in regards to the proposed annual registration of firearms in the state of California. That's the one that everybody's eyeing the most because the penalties for that would be $1,000 per incident. So this is a very big deal. Not only do you have to register them annually, but if you forget the, the amount that they would uh, uh, collect in penalties, is astronomical. So let's talk about what just happened. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. Now, if you're not fully up to speed with what we're talking about today, this all stems from California Senate Bill 1160, which was authored and introduced by Senator Anthony Portentino, who is actually termed out at the end of this year. He tried running for Congress of the United States, but thankfully he did not make that run. So that's it. He's done at the end of this year, but what does he decide to do? Well, he decides to leave Californians with one more terrible bill and that is SB 1160, which requires all Californians to register their arms every single year, regardless if you registered it when you got it, regardless if you got it before registration was required, doesn't matter. You would have to register it every single year. Failure to do so would, uh, inc you would incur a thousand dollar penalty uh, per item per incident, right? So it would be a fairly big penalty. Now this is obviously huge. I mean, we're talking about an entire state with a huge population and that would require millions of people every single year to go through the registration process. Once again, pay a fee for that registration, big old database that would be held by the state and so forth. So this, this is a big one. So with that being said, let's start off with the good news first. The good news is it looks like this bill has hit a pretty big speed bump. Now by speed bump, what I mean is this bill has been slowed down. There have been some issues that have been brought up even by Portentino's own party uh, who have pointed out some pretty big problems with this bill, not just with the, the issues of the law itself, but with the penalties, how to assess them, uh, issues with you know creating this huge new system. I mean, they actually voice a lot of problems and even some opposition to this bill, which is really, really surprising to me when it's coming from a state that has a vast majority control like California. Let me just read some of this to you. So this particular bill was set for a hearing today, April 2nd, uh, and it was to be heard by the Senate Committee on Public Safety but that hearing has been pushed back. Now it's been pushed back. We don't know if there's gonna be another date or if it's just gonna go into mothballs. Not really sure at this time, but if we take a look at some of the considerations uh, that the Public Safety Committee ha had considered, we take a look at this first paragraph here where it says, the changes proposed by the bill constitute a significant change to California law related to firearm registration and thus a monumental task for the Department of Justice with regard to implementation. Should the bill be signed into law, which at the latest would occur at the end of September 2024, the DOJ would have six months until April 1st deadline, until the April 1st deadline, to establish the required registration system and registered firearm file. During this time, the DOJ would also be responsible for undertaking a sizable marketing campaign to inform gun owners, dealers, and the general public, including prospective owners, about this new requirement. Moreover, uh, current firearm owners would not be able to register their arms until the registration system is complete, which given the July 1st, 2025 effective date of the bill's penalty provision would give them three months to register before they are liable for an infraction and a fine of $1,000. It, it should also be important to note that under the bill, the registration requirement would technically go into effect on January 1st, 2025, three months before the registration could realistically begin, rendering all current owners liable by default for the infraction penalty that becomes enforceable six months later. The author and the com committee may wish to consider the following questions raised by the timeline under this bill. So as you can see from that, there's issues with implementation, there's issues with the DOJ, there's issues with uh, getting this prepared on time, there's issues with notifying people and you know uh, uh, showing millions of people in, in the state of California that this is something that they would have to do. Uh, there is a problem with the timeline and the fines and when it would be implemented, when it would start and 
all that stuff. I mean, there is just, it, this thing is wrought with problems. And so they noticed those problems and obviously they had to shelve it because uh, there's just, there's no way to effectively implement this without, well, what kind of what they say in their own words, without forcing people into this civil infraction uh, before the system is even ready for them to do what they're asking them to do. So it's a, it's a huge problem and that is the good news. The bad news is just because they have a bunch of issues with it doesn't mean this bill is done. Now it's very possible this bill could be finished right before it even got out of committee because there's so many problems and so many issues that need to be addressed that they may not be able to address and appeal all or uh, amend all of these issues before the end of the legislative session. So it is very possible that 1160 is done with but that's not a sure thing. If they're able to address all of the issues that were brought up uh, by the committee, then it would go back to committee and more than likely the committee would ap approve it. Right? I mean, it's just how things work out there. So even though it's hit a big speed bump, we could still see more from 1160 in the future. So I'll let you know if there's any changes to this, if they make amendments or it happens to be uh, reheard in committee, then I will let you guys know. But this is one that we definitely want to watch closely because uh, I can almost guarantee you if something like this passes in California, get ready to see it elsewhere. You'd see it in New York, New Jersey, Colorado, uh, maybe Oregon, Washington, Hawaii. I mean, you name it. Uh, we could start seeing stuff like this all across the country. So it's best to stop these things now before they end up spreading to other states. So anyway, I wanted to let you guys know about that. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.